Well, it's back. The KSAT 12 series of Haunting in South Texas is back for another year. Erica Hernandez and Adrian Garcia first head to a private home. Not only is the home believed to be built on Native American land, but the owner has a collection of haunted items, including supposedly haunted dolls. Ooh. We heard the story earlier this week on GMSA, and here's a clip. For years, Roxy has been collecting the items in her home, creating her own type of museum. Things that have been important to me and I feel are important to everybody who's in the uh, paranormal industry. Her favorite items are two dolls from an asylum in the United Kingdom. It was a calling to me to bring them here and they actually work as protectors more than anything else. She says they communicate. In one recording, it appears one doll calls out to her friend Diana. The night we visited inside, we didn't get much, but one member of San Antonio Paranormal Investigators did capture this image of what appears to be a face in the window. Ooh. Ooh, okay, back up, back up. So what did the one doll supposedly say to it the says, other? Come here, Diana. Come here, Diana. So we have these all kind of broken down on the website where you can hear them closely and okay. just hear that one clip. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> First of all, how Objective you... journalist here. Okay. <laughs> Nobody at home can visit this one because it's no, a private, it's a private, private home. How did you find it? We actually got notified. We uh, were talking with this paranormal group here in town called the Curious Twins. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they actually go out and do some investigations of their own. They're like, you should go to this place and she'll let you go. And she has this collection of haunted dolls. And I was like, what? <gasps> and I didn't know. Like Annabelle on steroids. I, until you walk in, you're just like, oh. Oh, no, they're no, creepy looking. And, there's and a whole bunch of dolls in there. Justin asked the question, oh, Justin. did <laughs> did the dolls come like that or did she paint them? And I, I I don't know. Like I think that's how she got them. Some of them have it and some of them don't. Some of them look just like normal dolls in, in the video, but other ones are, you know, she said she got those two favorite ones at an asylum in the United Kingdom. And she got this calling for them and she had to bring them back. More than like two dolls in a room kind of freaks me out in general. <laughs> she's got she's, she's got a ton of them. In that video, did I see you participating in a seance? Yeah. That was my first one. That was my first one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Was a bunch of haunted dolls in the room, too? Uh-huh. What happened? Nothing. Oh, okay. Nothing good. happened Nothing? during the seance. You're not having spirits follow you around your room now in your house? I don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. I just say, don't do it. She didn't have experience like Whoopi Goldberg and Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, it, it, was that a Ouija board, too, that I yes, saw? Yes, she actually got that from the, I think, the Lizzie Borden house up in Oh, East yeah, Coast. that would yeah. be a nice place. And, uh, <laughs> Lizzie Borden took an axe. Yeah. What is it? Gave her a family photo. I think that's where 45. she got it. I can't, don't quote me on that. I know she got them. She gets these items. She just travels the world to collect these apparently haunted items. And that particular Ouija board is still open. Okay, who's the f the image, the face image? Do we have any idea who that might be? We don't know. We okay. don't know. There's, uh, according to our medium that comes along with us to these with the investigators, she picked up a, about a good five to seven spirits that were oh. in this property. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's inside and outside. And outside we caught, apparently, the voice that could have been her neighbor that was murdered back in 2003. Okay. Oh, and her, oh and there's she, that. And, and isn't she on a burial ground of some sort? It's just, we don't know if there's a burial ground, but it was Native American land. Okay. Uh -huh. There's just a lot of creepy stuff. Yeah. I, I can understand if you're interested in all of that, collecting it, but yeah. I can't understand having it in your home with you. <laughs> you know, put it in storage or something. <laughs> it's just yeah. tempting fate. Don't right? bring it to you. Yeah. Push it away from you. <laughs> but mean, she likes dolls. She, yeah, well. All kinds like of items. scary stuff. Well, yeah. since people can't go visit, check it out for themselves. Again, your whole story is online. It's online, and we all have it broken down, all the little pieces and evidence broken down into the web page, so you can just go individually and see each little thing that we caught. Are you going to go see the new Halloween that's out? Probably. Yeah. You have to go see it. And I was just telling you right now during the break, we're going to do 13 and 4 on Thursday. Me and Just, I'm going to take Justin. Justin's with me. going. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Facebook Live. Okay. When you're gonna, will we get some video yes. and a debrief on that. Okay. Oh, we want the outtakes too. <laughs> just, I, my goal is to make Justin scream like a girl. Oh, I can't oh. wait to hear video of that. It might happen. It might happen. <laughs> <laughs> you Mr. said it might happen. Mr. Skeptical over there. Oh, no, right, Thank you, Erica. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. You very much.